Welcome to Doc Nation. Welcome back, guys. Jarrell here. And I'm Josh. And today we're here to react to episode five of Walking Dead World Beyond. Yeah. So uh, big news on this one. We heard that there is a very interesting post credit scene at the end of this episode. Um, what do you think it's going to be? Uh, Jadis. Jadis. We'll get introduced to Jadis or maybe a quick scene with Jadis. And then we'll see her maybe in, in another episode. But uh, it, it's got to be something because a lot of people have been tweeting and messaging us in the comments saying, hey, like, Episode five, really good. The post credit scene, holy H, holy shit. So, you yeah. think they're going to do post credit scenes the rest of the way? I don't know. It's been interesting. They they used they. How many times did they do it in the first season? I think they only did no, it for maybe not, not too many, not too many, maybe no. three episodes. They did it for. So, um, I'm kind of hoping they don't. You know, maybe one or two. No, Marvel the shit out of this. Thing. Marvel the shit out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, guys, we're 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 halfway done. Yeah, like episode five, we're halfway there. So when do we meet uh, in this general? Maybe that's it, dude. Maybe it's the general, General Beale. Yeah, ooh, that'd be good too. They pan up to the desk plate. Yeah, and he's like, "Are you ready to take kill Portland them out? all? Time to take out Portland." <laughs> <laughs> all right dude oh and we also heard about this man that you brought back a few years yeah, ago this with this rick grims yeah what about that <laughs> what about that grims guy how's the grims guy doing and jadis comes in and says oh he's doing fine we're married <laughs> okay because he doesn't remember who he is he doesn't remember shit he doesn't remember who he is so i locked that up <laughs> <laughs> so all right guys we are ready to get it episode five we let's made do no it. sense there we but did not hey let's do it let's do it yeah. Ooh, Ooh, that's a wicked one. Not very often that you see the uh, the ribs. Ooh, she took pleasure in doing that. Oh yeah. There you go. El oh, he's got. A you have a weapon now. Whoa! Finally. Okay. That's a dangerous place to be, right? Music fills the whole area with Exactly. Oh my God. Oh God. Oh, that naturally would happen. Yeah. Now that's some good metal right there. Metal sport. <laughs> Metal sport. We're looking at the subtitles, by the way. Hey, Silas. So, this one usually gives us trouble, but a quick slip and take should get it No. No, no, no. Just wait. What are you doing here? I'm so glad you're okay. Are you that speechless? Are you gonna hug him or what? Yeah, I mean, what's going on? Oh, that's I love cool. that. So they're all dead. Everyone? Here comes Sorry. How are they so easily much. in this building without the others being there? And they took Hope? It hugs one of them. She's playing us the whole time. And for them, the CRM. But today they Hope, will. They, mm -hmm. yeah. they do treat me okay here. So maybe Hope and your dad are okay too. Silas, an entire city's gone. The university's gone. If we're right about this, what they did was genocide. If you're right. We don't have proof, but we know they did it. I know. They're guilty. We're not wrong. Not this time. But you have no proof. And tomorrow, you're going to take Dennis's card. You're going to borrow one of the trucks. You're going to book it over there. You're going to use the card to open the door at exactly 2 p.m. We'll time it out so we're on the other side, ready for you to get us out. Then we take off and head right for Portland. Portland? We can tell them what happened. They can keep us hidden. He didn't want to. I can tell Dennis. What? But I think he'd help us. No. No. That's what he wants you to think. He's the enemy. He's one of them. I know it's a lot. The time's not on our side, and we can't do this without you. Are you in? Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Is that that one chick from the gate? Who admires? She's questioning a lot. You yeah. can tell she looks like you could use it. Don't talk to me. I want a divorce. Dropping off some work orders. Marge is still the best cup of coffee outside your <laughs> bruises. You're trusting me. We're still married. There's confirmation. Mm -hmm. If you ask me. After Omaha, we're back at square one. So why is the civilian government pushing for it so hard? And they trust us? Wow, there's more than what we think, guys. I lo I didn't 
What? They, they have a civilian government. They have a, they have a civilian government. They have politicians that they're kind of all working together. When I heard you turned yourself in, I didn't know if they were going to leave you alive. Me neither. I only let you walk away because I thought it was what it's you not wanted. It's not why I'm. It's just. It's a lot. So you're in. We were uh, kind of eavesdropping. 2 p.m. tomorrow, Detritus to Terminal. I'll be there. How's he gonna get there? I don't know. But if something happens, they're either gonna think he was captured or he flaked out. It's just something I drew. On their first venture out. Raising a little hell, not taking no for an answer, it's finally paid off. Just like it did with Bloom. Oh, oh, dude, shit. that was a dream. <laughs> Dr. Ellis, Eugene would love to reunite with you. Hope, just the young mind we were looking for. Hope you don't mind, but I took the liberty of doing a little extracurricular noodling, applying your yeast theory to your dad's fungal decay research. We've identified three strains of yeast, which we believe with some additional augmentation could greatly accelerate necrotic decomposition. There's a lot of work yet to be wow. done. But it's sparks like this that'll one day light a path to a new world. Where they... I know this potential breakthrough has bad timing. I saw Iris the other night. Hug took me to see her. And Felix. And, and Will is there too. And they're not that far. You're going to turn yourselves in? That's our plan. Me and Felix. Why are you and Percy? We're not the CRM's priority. It's better if we stay on the outside. Yeah. What if we turned you How? in? <laughs> Made it look like we caught you. It's not it a bad plan. It would look less suspicious. And it would show the CRM that we're honoring our agreement. You would do that? Of course. Me and Will, we found a way that they can get a message out if the plan changes. It's a dead drop. How? You said your supplies come in from the CRM late in the day, mm -hmm. right? The first Wednesday of every month? That's tomorrow. Boom. All set? Just yeah, because they're too bones. small for them to wipe them. Wipe uh, out. When Indira turns us in, they'll take our weapons. You gotta be at least so at a minimum of a thousand people. <laughs> yeah, a thousand people, you're wiped out. Got me over a thousand miles. Oh shit! No, 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 no. Sentries? Not exactly. Who was that? Oh, for fuck's uh, sake! He took his freaking jacket. What the hell are you doing here? Look, I'm sorry. Okay, but we can't risk Oh shit! This. Too late. They're coming. You get the rope. I'll get the blindfolds. You don't have much time. The store checks out with theirs. We separated and questioned them. No apparent inconsistencies. Send for Staff Sergeant Malik. Yes, ma'am. I mean, she knows who they are. Well, Iris and Felix, of course. She's puzzled. Oh, Ooh, shit. Shit. You best get the fuck out of there. Let me, let me ask you this, though. Do you think stuff would be in there or the big safe? Oh, hey. Does she know the code? Is it her birthday? His birthday. Yeah, it's birthday. Or maybe the date of death? What? 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 Show a name. Project. Project what? PR, PRJV. I can't read it. It's too fast. Zoom in. Close up. Pause. She's going to get caught. It might be the orders, dude. That's some sick betrayal. It might right be that it might. She might have seen the orders that it was them who wiped out Omaha and, and Campus Colony. Staff Sergeant Malik. Ah. So Lieutenant Colonel Blakey. Hello, Iris. Officer Carlucci. And uh, Elton Ortiz. Is it? I mean, is the corduroy jacket enough? <laughs> you know. Yeah. <laughs> a thousand miles, perilous miles. How's the ankle, officer? May I call you Felix? Of course. It must be quite odd to be on the other end of the intake questioning. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see it. How did... How did she know about his ankle? I don't know. He got his ankle cut. Well, I found him, huh? He got his ankle so cut. you want to see me? When they were out in that season place one, where you left they them. were fighting walkers. Were there medical supplies? Oh, she probably yeah. told her. They were. Corporal Pear said that she found you in my office. How did she? Well, I was curious if you had lunch plans. She came out of your office. She didn't see what you were doing. 
Don't be like, you're not Elton. <laughs> they don't know Elton. I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. A bunch of empties found their way into the creek bed. Yeah, Tiga called that in. Would you mind if I borrowed the box truck to tow him to the dump site? That kind of sucks because yeah. he's built rapport with him. Yeah. And see, he hates it. Guaranteed he doesn't do it. Guess maybe being under for that long took more out of me than I thought. Secrets, lying to everybody all day, every day. I wish I did. Too. She's trying to. She's basically trying to say, you know, we had. She's trying to remember the good times, trying mm -hmm. to be more sympathetic instead of this tough love, but. You were... Hey, it's the only way we can get out of here. Hey, I, I am amazed it. that they're talking they like do, this. I'm gonna hang back. In a CRM okay, room. And it's when Silas is meeting us at the Detritus service terminal. I need to say goodbye to Lila. Oh, jeez, no. no. That's it. Maybe she could come. It's over. Over. My mom's sick, not me. I lied to you. What? I, I did it to protect her secret. Some of the people here have different ideas about how this place should be run. It was nice meeting you. Do it. Get in there, bro. Get in there, bro. Get in there, bro. It was nice meeting you, too. Kiss her. Kiss her. Pull her in. Uh, we need to talk. What are you doing here? No. I wouldn't be coming to you if it wasn't life or death. Please. Look, I don't know what Hope's told you about Omaha, the campus colony. But these are coded CRM transmissions, proving that the military brought in those empties. What are you talking about? See these letters and numbers? They're not part of the CRM code. It's the coding system for test subjects. I don't know how all of it fits, that some of the people killed back home are being used for research. It's almost two o'clock. There's no, it's almost two o'clock. Her dad's gonna come in and we're tell not, them they we're can't not leaving. Go. Yeah. They did it. No. Uh, One false move, we shoot. Post credit scene. I just got word the new TS has arrived. As you requested, oh. came in from the Civic Republic. Oh. They all. Oh, that's Barca. Mm -hmm. Healthy. That's Barca. He's a soldier. Holy shit, dude. I realize this is my last chance to get this right. I need to assure Lieutenant Colonel Koblik that I will. But Lieutenant Colonel has been called to the Civic Republic indefinitely. Until further notice, you'll be answering to me. Oh. Jesus. Holy shit. She's in charge, dude. <laughs> She's in charge. Oh my god. So for you guys on YouTube who didn't see us react to the next episode teaser, they shouldn't have played that teaser before we saw the post-credit post -credit scene, scene yeah. cuz it makes it it would have made it more impactful to see the post-credit scene yeah. first and then we, we essentially knew that Jadis was in the episode before we saw the post-credits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Wow, Jadis wow. is in charge, and we found out her last name, Stokes. If if that's her real last yeah, name. We've seen, that's three <laughs> names now. Jadis. Anne. No, Anne Stokes is probably yeah. what it is. Yeah, so excited to see Jadis. Um, I know all of us are just going to be looking at her and just wondering. Rick, 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 Rick. It's but, been. But here's the deal. She will not say, she won't say anything. Oh no no no! Um, they this won't have this her will anything. be just a Jadis appearance. Yeah, yeah. This will be. We might get her the rest of the season. Yeah, and nothing will and, be said unless it's at the end of the season yeah. or something, which will help tie in to the movies that are going to be coming in. You know, I'm not twenty forty. Uh, <laughs> I'm not liking the new do. The short, the short, short yeah, hair. Yeah, dude. Ah, it's it's all not right. just short. It looks like a freaking. Pumpkin like a top, bu yeah, pumpkin top. More, like, it's 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 more of a military kind of sure. buzz cut True. type thing. Yeah. But super excited to see her. You know, love Pollyanna McIntosh. Absolutely adore her. She, you know, we are so glad to see her back in the Walking Dead universe. Um, still excited to see her in the Rick movies when they begin uh, as well. But um, this imagine is seeing a Jadis and Huck fight. Oof, yeah. So that's who she was talking to in the trailer, guys. Hope we get to catch up soon. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, and so it was. It was a good episode. Um, I enjoyed it. You know, it's it's 
this show is it, it's a different feel. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. You you watching The Walking Dead, you watching Fear the Walking Dead. This show has a completely different feel to it. But you know, it was good. It was good. Yeah, uh, yeah, I liked it. I did. Yeah, it was I really did. good. Um, we kind of. I kind of knew that they were just, it wasn't going to pan out. Like, they were going to get caught. Yeah, you knew it wasn't going to. But how did Silas get caught, though? Do they have, are they bugged everywhere? I, I've i said this throughout our reviews. I don't know how you're in a CRM facility, you know, with, with as much technology that is there, mm-hmm. um, which with as secret as they are, and not think that you're getting bugged. Yeah. I mean, they might be. I just haven't revealed it yet. Uh, so yeah, interesting that uh, Lieutenant Colonel Kublik will be at the CRM wherever that is indefinitely, and now Jadis, or I'm sorry, uh, what's her rank? Lieutenant. Was it Lieutenant Stokes? Maybe I, I don't f- I know. I'll, I don't know. I'll find out when I'm editing the video. But uh, either way, she's in charge now. Yeah. Uh, what about the guy that questioned Lieutenant Kublik, and who is now test subject? Yeah, Barca. Um, he was the one. Yeah, from season one, after he was he was not cool with wiping out Campus Colony, and now he's a test subject. Yeah, it's that's what happens. That's the orders that uh, Huck saw was the fact that they're they're shipping these survive well not survivors victims of the of the you know annihilation of Omaha mm-hmm. as test subjects. Yeah, and what about uh, Layla? saying this is my last i'm sorry i know this is my last chance that was a very interesting line it's almost like they're Um, threatening or you have these this many opportunities and then you will be a terminated and turned into a test subject well we kind of got that a little bit from i can't remember what episode it was uh since we're in episode five it was either in the maybe episode one or two where she was talking to lieutenant kublik and lieutenant kublik was kind of saying you know in a way pressuring her to Keep the, keep going on the research, yeah. and hopefully she can get it right. And she was, it was kind of a the way that Kublik was talking to her was kind of in a threatening manner, but not words saying that she's threatening her at all. But her, yeah. you know, Layla saying that like this is my last chance. Like, so now I think I, I wonder. Remember the uh, their colleague with the red beard, who is was the first test subject yep. we saw. I wonder if he was. I her. wonder if he was her. He couldn't get in it her done. Position. And they killed him and turned him into a test subject. That's brutal. Yeah. Because that's that's what you see. If I don't get it right, I'm going to be right there on that slab. Exactly. Exactly. That she was taking his position as they were moving him out. So she mm-hmm. sees what it could, the outcome. What the outcome could be. Oh, that's dude, brutal. They're brutal. <laughs> so brutal, guys. So Kublik, let us know. Kublik's brutal. She is. I, I like the character. Though. I do, too. I like it. I do, too. Yeah. So, guys, let us know what you think in the comments. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new. And stay tuned for episode six, which will be probably a very heavy Jadis Phil episode. Hopefully, we'll get to see her a little bit more. And we'll see you guys next time. I'm Jarrell. I'm Josh. We're not We're out.